Hi, this is Jacob with PCTechGuy.com. Today we're taking a look at PC Mechanic from Uniblue. Uh, PC Mechanic is going to be the spin-off of Registry Booster. They kind of split up um, Registry Cleaner Kit and PC Mechanic from Registry Booster and made it into two separate products. And PC Mechanic is a fairly solid tool. And when it comes to Registry Cleaners, I always tell people, hey, you're not buying it for the Registry Cleaner. Now, now while there are specific benefits in cleaning the registry, you're not going to get the power boost that you need. And instead, you need to do other tweaks and other optimizations to actually increase your startup. You'll only be using a Registry Cleaner um, under uh, if you're getting DLL errors on startup, you're in, and things along those lines, and there's rare circumstances where you actually need a registry cleaner nowadays. So just looking at their product comparison chart here, we're going to see that PC Mechanics listed at, at uh, $39.95 uh, compared to the Power Suit, which is $20 more. Now PC Mechanics is going to help fix the registry. It has a, it'll help fix uh, performance issues on the system, um, optimize PC startup time, which is very nice, and uh, clean junk temp files. Now cleaning the junk temp files is is always good. You, you know there's some s computer systems that I've cleaned out that have had like 50 gigs on like a 200 gig drive of of just junk temp files. So it can definitely help there. But in most cases, you're not going to necessarily get a big boost in performance from that. You're going to see the boost in performance from optimizing the PC startup time and uh, fix performance issues. So uh, this tool can be used to speed up your computer. And the nice thing about this is, is you do have three uh, copies of it. So you can put it on all three of your, your PCs. If you only have two PCs, you can put it on two PCs and give one to a friend. And it does specifically state on their page, let me go back over here, I think it's under the Overview tab, that um, right here, one license covers three PCs, giving your family and friends a chance to enjoy better PC performance too. So no issue um, giving it out to a friend, I think. I mean, hey, if they say up to three PCs and they say and friends, why not give it to a friend if you only have two PCs, right? So you can help somebody out there. Now, they did a... Um, real tested improvements. I think this is more of a joke than anything else. In tests we ran, Microsoft Excel 2010 opened up to 76% faster on a one-year-old Windows 7 PC after applying fixes to suggested by PC Mechanic. Well, that's all fine and dandy if you use, I, I guess, Windows Excel, and they're saying it took from 4.6 seconds to one second. And, you know, is that true? I, you know, sure it is, but there's probably, you know, that was just one program. And there's probably multiple reasons why that could have happened. Ultimately, you know, you want a faster web browsing experience. You want all your programs to open up faster, not just one program. But uh, um, um, System Mechanic here, I'm sorry, PC Mechanic can definitely help out with that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. So at this point in time, hey, we do recommend uh, PC Mechanic. You can read a full listing of our reviews at uh um, on the link below in the description here, we have a link going to PCTechGuide.com, our registered cleaner reviews, uh, where you know we sort them in order of what we recommend and best bang for the buck. I do like PC Mechanic. I am a fan of Uniblue, so you know if you're looking to buy this software, I say hey, go for it. You know it is a pretty good software. So we'll go ahead and install it and then run a quick scan. So right off the bat, is what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and start the scan. Uh, the download that I had was already up to date, so it didn't go out and update anything. It does give me um, my my system set up right here, and it tells me the amount of RAM I have on this particular mm -hmm. system. And the scan only took like 40 seconds, which is pretty rad. So unlike the the stripped down version of PC Mechanic, which was that registry cleaner kit, and uh, that's about half the price. Uh, that this does offer far more. So, so the other program just did registry errors, and there it didn't show me the exact type of registry errors that are happening. So, if we look here, um, you know, it's going through and it's saying that hey, this this folder is empty, and empty folders in the registry do not matter. So, so there, there's no issues there at all, and it's going to say Windows recent roaming, you know, screenshot user error, invalid shortcut. It it really doesn't matter. I'm not accessing that that file so why would I care and you, you know that's that's why registry cleaning kind of sucks and and not something yeah you can go ahead and just click the yes button uh, chances are most people aren't going to understand a lot of what's going on here so and in some of these it's saying an invalid firewall hole which um, actually that is true 
looking at these. So, so there are there are definite things that uh, um, you know cleaning the registry can help with, such as DLL errors. But overall, you know it's not going to be a major issue. You can just go ahead and hit fix on it if you like. Uh, the PC performance issue and the startup programs are are the ones that I would recommend you take more of a look at. Uh, the junk temp files here it says that I'll clean uh, 1.19 gigs. So if I actually look at the results, it's going to tell me. Um, uh, which uh, the Windows temporary files, Google Chrome files, so your browser, your deleted files, things along those lines. Now, for for this section, I myself I want my cookies, right? So so I want my bank to remember me. I want you know every site I go to to remember who I am, uh, just so I can log in easier and the site loads faster and things like that. So I do not clean out my cookies. Uh, very often anyways so plus you're not really saving much um, here you would save quite a bit so the Windows temporary files and these truly are junk files so various applications uh, that you've opened that are taking up space uh, just because they're partially saved and and uh, just just dead instances of files and things so I would definitely clear this out right here and that's where you're gonna get the most boost anyways and then of course you could always manually uh, go through and and you know your event logs you could remove usually you won't have a whole whole lot there there is uh, some installer files uh, that are taking up uh, 300 megabytes worth of space so you know junk tip file cleaner is cool but at the same time you're really not gonna get any PC performance out of it uh, the startup programs is where you're going to now what I like about this is they do a much better job than than the default Windows uh, it's startup manager and as well as most other programs so if I bring up the default uh, startup manager MS config I'm gonna to go to the run command I'm gonna type in MS config and then we're gonna to go to uh, startup tab here and so this is the startup that is, that it's doing so it says okay there's Adobe and um, this is scheduled to start and you know Adobe Incorporated, Adobe Startup right there. I'm trying to match up that first one real quick. Yeah, so this this first one right here. But uh, what what I like about Uniblue is they've already removed uh, some of the core essential files for Windows from here. So unlike under the MS Config, if I uncheck everything there and restart my computer, my computer won't be happy with me. It won't log me in anymore. Uh, that's because I, I eliminated some essential services. But going through here, you're going to be able to go through and say, okay, well, you know, do I really need this going? Win, win tray TV, I don't even use that anymore. I, I don't even have my hoppage card installed in this PC anymore. A Samsung Electronics, well, that's for my phone. Yeah, sugar sink. Yeah, I use that. So you can go through. I have no idea what that one is. It's probably some malware that I installed the other day. So so you can go through and say, okay, well, do I want these services? Do I not want these services? And if you use it, yes, you want it. If you don't use it, you know, if I don't use uh, um, EA Asus anymore or I don't use uh, um, the Hopodge anymore, you know, definitely you can go through and you can just check the boxes and then say disable. And by disabling all these startup programs, not all of them, but the ones you know you don't use, you're going to get a little bit of a boost uh, uh, when your, your system logs in. It's not going to be running an active memory for you. So if I go to and bring up the task manager here, Sorry, go in and bring up the task manager. Let's do this correctly. Task manager. So we're going to see that this uh, uh, multiple programs, this Andy priority manager, and you, we're going to see that it's taken up you, you know memory usage, right? So going through here and looking, well, Dropbox is 870 in, in, in the memory, Sugar Sync, Spy Hunter, a cam recorder. So there's a bit in here that that's taken up space, right? So if I if I eliminated these, my my system overall is going to be faster. So that's a, a pretty good um, section. I really like how they did that startup programs. It's better than most other mo how most others present the issues. Now under the performance issues, uh, it does shine in this regard because what it does is it goes through and it identifies the actively running processes that do not need to be there. Now for some people they might need to be there, but the vast majority of them. There, there's just you know, you know, things of how your operating system was 
is performing that most people aren't going to use or need. So, so generally is what I would say is, is yeah, just hit the backup and fix the issues. It's going to back it up. So you can always revert back to it. If you're like, Oh, you know what? I messed something up. So, so otherwise you can go through and, and I would just recommend, um, just leaving it at the default, just hitting the next button. And if you don't notice anything in the next few days, which you probably sh won't, then you'll be good to go. And overall, I've seen this give give my PC a, a bit of boost, or I should say my test PC a bit of boost, but it's not going to be nearly as, as dramatic as, as, let's say, just optimizing um, virtual memory. So, so there are you know, still a lot of things that these programs do not do uh, that a human can do uh, just knowing how an operating system works. So, so um, all in all, I do give PC Mechanic 2015 you know, a thumbs up. I like the program. It's good to use. If you were considering a purchase of PC15, uh, PC Mechanic 15, I'd say, hey, go for it. Uh, otherwise, if you want a, a, something to help with um, defragging the system too as well, which you know Windows has a built-in defragmentator too, but you know uh, Power Suit's going to give you the 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 biggest boost, uh, like uh, cleaning uh, duplicate files if you have a lot of duplicate files on your system, uh, uninstalling unwanted programs. It has a great uninstaller there, and yes, a lot of these are already built into Windows, but this is a one tool, uh, very easy to use uh, uh, interface that really can help you get the most out of it and has a defragmentation tool like I said before and it also does have this live speed tools which is can be kinda cool and fun to play with as well as um, updating your window drivers which uh, that is a standalone program that cost uh, $30 so basically you know you're combining PC mechanic with uh, drive scanner and uh, as well as other other software suits too so power suit I recommend it I like that one a lot that's it for this video. I hope it helps. And again, feel free and check out the PCTechGuide.com website. And under Registered Cleaners is where we're going to rate all of our, our Registered Cleaning software programs, as well as dozens of other software programs, too. So check it out.